Hello everyone, we will be discussing about WSO2 identity analytics through a series of screencast sessions. This is the initial one which elaborates how you can enable identity analytics. I am Hasim Tindraji, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2. Identity analytics is nothing more than a DAS instance which has some features installed on top of it. Well, DAS stands for Data Analytics Server. Configuring WSO2 Identity Analytics is very straightforward. All you need to do is enable data publishing from WSO2 Identity Server to WSO2 DAS Server. I have two distributions downloaded and extracted. It's just a matter of making a small configuration change. Let me show you. If you open the Identity XML file which resides inside repository conf identity directory in your WSO2 identity server, you will find out a section with few event publishers. As you can see, there are multiple publishers available for publishing multiple types of events from WSO2 identity server to WSO2 IS analytics server. You have to enable them according to your requirements. Here I am enabling both login data and session data publishers so that I can see both login and session data analytics. Once you enable publishing, you have to configure publishers as well. Well, if you go to the directory repository deployment server event publishers in your IS, you can find event publisher configurations. As you can see, there are multiple event publishers. Let me open one and go through what there are inside these files. As you can see, this describes how the publishing is done from IS to Identity Server Analytics Server. You can see there is username, protocol, receive URL and password. I will not change any of them since I am using my analytics server on local host and with default super admin username and password. Well, now I am done with configuration changes. Let me start two servers. You don't need to add a port offset for analytics server. It comes with a default port offset of 1 out of the box. It will take few seconds to start the servers. So both servers are up and running. Once the server is up and running, you can access the admin console. If I log in as an admin, I can see I have configured travelocity.com as a service provider. So I'll be trying to log in to TravelCity.com through Identity Server and see what actually takes place. Well, I could log into TravelCity.com through WSO2 Identity Server. So now I would expect to see these events and relevant analytics in my analytics dashboard. Let me log into analytics dashboard as admin user. If you go to view, you can see the analytics dashboard. Of course, you can see the published events. You can see multiple. As you can see, there are few main sections in analytics dashboard. Overall, it contains login analytics, session analytics, and security alerts. We will have separate screencasting sessions on each of these types of analytics. At each of these sections, you can see a comprehensive representation of events represented using graphs and charts. Well, that's about how to set up identity analytics. If you go back and see what actually took place, as depicted in this diagram, you logged into the web app travelcity.com through identity server using SAML inbound authentication protocol. Identity server publishes all those relevant data 
to identity analytics server and those events are stored and processed within analytics server finally those stored data is visualized through wso2 analytics dashboard that's it basically that's how you can set it up hope it's useful if you have further queries please contact us through our developer mailing list thank you